Hold on, where's my cock? <laughs> <It> fucking <laughs> wiggles on the table. Hey! Good evening, and salutations. Welcome back to the hey, Bad Take oh Delete Show. It's your favorites. It's the favorite. Us. Yeah. All me, me, you. and me. All your, yeah. all, all your three favorites. There you are over there. Yeah. Yep. Dev. Everyone's Can't favorite. It. And I'm bad, bad Take Dev yeah. Show. I'm, I'm bad Dovin take. Ryan. That's a bad take, right? That's JJ over there. This guy over here. That's him. I can't believe it. We have a <laughs> important topics going around. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're just gonna get straight into it. Actually, uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. JJ and I saw it. Dev doesn't like watching hot, sweaty men fight each other, so she didn't see it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gay like you. Yeah, both of us. Whoa. JJ, his girlfriend does not know. What do you think of the movie, JJ? I thought it was fucking pretty good. I mean, for mm -hmm. what it was, at least. Like, let's be honest with us. It's 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 Deadpool and Wolverine. No one goes in thinking it's a godfather. But yeah. it was like a love letter to the... I mean, not to get into spoiler territory. It's a love We're letter to the We're getting into the spoilers. Old. We're spoiling now. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> well, first, it, I just want to say, it, it, in general, it's a week. love... Yeah, it, it's, it's a love letter to the Fox movies that... Just, just fucking threw shit at a wall and saw how it worked. And you know, yeah, a lot of stinkers, a lot of stinkers. Not, not denying that, but for what it was, it was pretty cool. They, they didn't uh, try to play it safe. How many X Men movies were there? Like six or seven in total? That'd be, yeah, if we're not including like uh, New Mutants, which even they don't fucking care for. Technically, there's no it's reference like to that movie at all. The first cinematic universe, and in terms of superheroes, the X Men universe. I would say actually the Superman movie would would be because they had the Superman series. Oh yeah, yeah. Like the, what when do you he mean? fought Nuclear Man. No, I meant like how the fact that there's uh, Deadpool and the X-Men movies and some other movies that are in that series. Is Elektra in that same universe or is that the Daredevil No, universe? that was Daredevil. They did make a joke about her and Ben Affleck in the movie, if you remember that. Yeah, Daredevil died. Yeah, he just fucking died. Isn't it crazy all the other notable characters died off screen, guys? Isn't that crazy? That was pretty much what the scene was. But getting into the straight of it, uh, I did like at the very start of the movie that they desecrated uh, Wolverine's corpse to make sure that you know that he's not coming back. I'm sorry, they did what? <laughs> they desecrated his corpse immediately. People were worried, like, they would be like, this is this whole movie's gonna ruin Logan. Yeah. And they're like, yeah. Oh, they buried up his body and just played with it. There's this Twitter post that I saw about the dance that was like, if I had a girlfriend and she dumped me and wanted to take me back, I would do this dance in front of her. <laughs> Do you see that post, Dev or JJ? No, no. I'm sorry. It was a very hyper-specific post that I kept seeing on my timeline. And that people kept referencing, where it's like, oh boy, I wonder where else this dance can be utilized besides this film. <laughs> but what do you think of the uh, time, time, not time skipping, like universe skipping? Because Deadpool only went to like 616 once and then just gave up trying to be an Avenger. I was very know? confused about that mm -hmm. because like, how does that work? Because the way it's like pitched, it's like he he tried and yeah. then he's in the new universe, but like he can't, like he's not able to jump between them. He's only able to like move between times and stuff. Well, so he, I have no fucking clue. Well, remember when he was trying to find Wolverine? He was jumping through time, but he had like more device for that. Maybe being turned down by one universe was just enough for him to be sad forever now. Well, 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 no, it's because he he had the device to do that then because he snatched yeah. it off of Paradox, right? But like in the beginning of the movie, he's interviewed by John Favreau. Yeah. And like, how is how does he get from that universe to the next one? I think it's just timeline stuff instead of a whole new universe. You know what I mean? Weird. Because the sacred timeline is just like a specific sort of events that happened. As a frame reference, apparently, uh, it's they're in Earth ten thousand and five. Even though the actor for Miss Marvel explains that the new universe isn't 616. There's like a bunch of them. It doesn't actually matter. That's dumb. You know what I mean? But also there are two that's different really timelines, dumb. Dev, because uh, Logan, yeah. Wolverine died in one, but apparently that's not the new one after Days of Future Past, mm -hmm. which changes the timeline. Mm -hmm. Dev, why don't you explain that? Yeah, you can explain it. Uh, well, what I can explain is how your guys' conversation about Wolverine and Deadpool has a fucking magnetic pull on the goddamn hailstorm happening outside my window right now. Every increasing. time that you guys, <laughs> yeah, every time you guys, every time you guys mention fucking Wolverine or Deadpool, just like their names, it just starts raining harder and harder. It really does mm. not like the series. That's why I'm not allowed to talk about it or look at anything about it. I think the I'm world I'm gonna die. dead. I'm glad they didn't do a lot of theater jokes like they did for the other ones. Because the first film was released during Valentine's Day, and it's like, can't believe you took your girlfriend to watch this movie on Valentine's Day instead of Fifty Shades of Grey. Remember those, JJ? <laughs> I do remember those. But he's uh, apparently the anchor being of the universe died, and they want to bring Deadpool to the new one, and so he goes to find some, some Wolverines. What do you think of all the references? Add to the comics. I was losing my mind. It was like 15 <laughs> minutes, of five minutes of pure ecstasy. We yep. got to see the classic fucking 80s suit. We got to yep. see him. They, they had, they, they used, like, they, they had him from a specific cover where he's on a fucking X cross, which is insane. <laughs> Crucified. They had him on. Yep, they had we had height height accurate Wolverine, which perfect. Yeah. He was definitely a bit shorter than he's supposed tall. to be, but it still sold it. Yeah, yeah, three feet tall. And then we had and then we got the was it left hand removed Wolverine? Left hand removed Wolverine. Well, that, yeah. yeah, that's from the, like that's from Days of Future Past Wolverine, I think. And we also had Henry Cavill Wolverine because remember he was supposed to be cast as Wolverine at one point. Yeah, 
And then we got Old Man Logan, kind of, I think. Maybe. I think that was him. A lot of good references. I think it was... I think, that obviously, when you're going into the film, you're going to say you're going to see some fucking references and everything. But, like, can you All imagine... references. ...going into the, the, the uh, crucified universe and going, like, there's a, there's a lot of skulls. What happened here? Imagine, like, you go, like, five minutes out from there and it's just New Jersey. Like, and everything else is normal. I remember we talked about this before and Cassandra Nova being a whole character and uh, Professor X did not show up. Professor Xavier? Nowhere. That's weird, right? He didn't want to fucking do anything, dude. He was tired. <laughs> Patrick Stewart? Yeah, he doesn't give a fuck. I mean, they could have had a different cameo, but, like, he's super an American dad. I know he loves voicing for that cartoon. And doing theater. <laughs> they could have had his character from American Dad show up, I guess. That would have been funny. Who yeah, does he play? Plays, uh, the bald guy. Yeah, he plays Stan Smith's boss, Director Bullock. Oh, that's right. But within the void, which apparently in the TVA, they have these magical devices, Dev, that you can zap people. And we thought that killed them. Apparently it doesn't. And so you get transported to a place called the void, where we see our, our favorite Johnny Storm. I didn't expect him, did you, JJ? Uh, it got spoiled for me. Oh man! But when he when it when when he fucking showed up, I was losing my mind because I thought it was an end credit scene. <laughs> I didn't think he was actually gonna be in the movie. Yeah. So basically, the the actor Chris Evans Dev previously played a character called Johnny Storm from the Fantastic Four, and he fucking Human dies. Torch. He dies hard. like his skin gets ripped off. It's I, crazy. I have a question about Graphic. characters yeah. that show up in the movie. Yeah. Uh, did this character show up? Uh, I'm I'm sending you a picture. Put it on screen. Yes. So. <laughs> Did he look like that too? <laughs> yeah, exactly, almost. There was Hell a scene yeah. in Deadpool 2 where his arms get ripped off and they have to grow slowly so they look like that. <laughs> 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 because I don't know if you know Dev, but Wolverine and yeah. Deadpool have regeneration powers. It's very nice. It's very cool. Holy shit. Just and like my favorite superhero, Patrick Starr. Patrick Starr, the one that's getting a video game soon. Oh shit, really? Yeah, he got leaked. What's, what's, what's the game going to be about? I haven't heard about this. It's just a platformer. Ha having a good time. Ooh, lame. Gross. But what isn't lame is that we saw what? Channing Tatum as Gambit. What do you think of that, JJ? Yes. That was great. He, did, he he earned that. He earned his flowers. That guy has been trying to get that movie off the ground for years. And then it finally died, and then he yep. came back for this. And now it's never happened. Which is, well, for, for one thing, I thought that him, Electra, and Blade would fucking die in the movie. Like I, I, I was waiting for it. And Wesley Snipes returns as, as Blade, which is funny because he makes a joke saying, I'll be the only Blade, which so far is and, true. Yeah, it might come, yeah. come, come to fruition. Uh, because they have, they have, so basically, Dev, Blade is a guy yes. who fights vampires and wears cool shades. He's like half vampire and Ooh. they can't figure out how to make this movie. They keep changing directors, <laughs> they keep changing writers, and it's like, it's just a guy who fights vampires, and he's The cool. problem is that his character doesn't fit with, like, the, like, overarching story or whatnot. Like, I, yeah. I mean, he has, a, he has a very serious story, but, like, to make a film, you're just gonna have to make a fucking, like, mm -hmm. B-movie, all right, where he kills monsters <laughs> and he's, like, overly badass and he has catchphrases. <laughs> I don't like remember the that ones. from the B-movie. No, you just B gotta have No, a B-movie. A B-movie? I don't remember that from B-movie with, No, uh, a B-movie is not Jerry. an A-movie. Strike, strike Dev with rocks now, <laughs> I'm already being is. stricken with rocks. It's fucking hailing out. There's been thunderstorms for like the entire week, but it's still good. fucking like 95 out. And my room doesn't have very good insulation, so it's 85 in my room now. right now. I had to turn off my suck. fan to record this podcast. I am Jesus sweating Christ. my balls off, bro. Good. No. That's what you get for, for disrespecting it. <laughs> <laughs> what did I disrespect? Uh, yeah. I was about to disrespect the fucking vampire thing. I was going to call it Vangelic. Sing, but I kept that to myself. <laughs> Speaking of disrespect, guess who's yeah. back? Who? No. Who's back? Doctor disrespect. Doctor disrespect. No. What? what Actually, really? let's, let's finish up the movie and then we can go into. Yeah, sorry. Stuff. <laughs> All right. Finish up the movie. And so at the end of the movie, a bunch of Deadpool show up and Nice Pool, mm. which is played by Ryan Reynolds again. Nice Pool. Yeah, Nice Pool. Uh, is that real? Yeah. There are multiple Deadpools that show up. <laughs> Not. There are multiple Deadpools. Oh, like the yeah. Spider Verse. Yes. And they made a big joke. That's about what this whole movie is. Nice pool. <laughs> I imagine nice pool is just like some some like generic like stock photo guy <laughs> with like a like an open button Hawaiian shirt and shades, and he just goes, "Hey man, nice pool." <laughs> You're close. So. <laughs> so Deadpool's character, if you don't, if you don't know, if you're not even to know, uh, has cancer yeah. and he's dying of cancer, and then he gets hit with the Weapon X, and he does get his cancer fixed. I, I think like his his body regenerates the cancer away. So Nice Pool looks very like clean and not scar faced with no hair, and that kind of makes sense because he does not have regeneration powers. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's funny, JJ. That, that's that's me leading into so you can talk about the next thing, JJ. Oh. Uh. Next Dr. Thing. Disrespected well, what? No, not that. Speaking not of <laughs> fun, Oh, okay. Well, the the part the best part of the, that film that part is is just 
they fill the whole fucking thing with Deadpool's, and they're all you know pretty much the same guy. But nice pool is just Ryan Reynolds. Mm -hmm. It's just Ryan Reynolds with long hair, <laughs> and everything good in his life happens. But the one thing that's not revealed is that he doesn't have regenerative powers until he gets like filled with bullets. And they have uh, I told you about this before. Britain's ugliest dog playing dog pool. Ooh, dog <laughs> pool. Yes, Mary Puppins. And I don't know if you noticed it. And if I can find a clip of it, because it's copyrighted, obviously, I'll show it. But when they burst out of the bus, uh, Wolverine goes into an idle pose. He's just, like, looking around breathing, and it's like, that's clearly not an actor. It's CGI right there. <laughs> Remember that, JJ? I don't think there was any CGI in the film, actually. Yeah, you can just do that. Wolverine no, that. everything that happened was real, yeah. And at the end, it turns out that uh, his universe won't die. And the Deadpool's universe will keep going, and Deadpool's for no gonna reason. come back in Secret Wars. There's no explanation at all, by the way, for any of that. Like, he just comes back. Like, the yeah. universe is, like, fixed because, like, he beats the bad guy. And it's like, how is it fixed? Not explained. It's just, it just is. I feel like the and pace of this movie, the way that you're describing it to me, is, yeah. like, the fucking Insanity. Flash movie. Yes, it's yeah. insanity. No, th that's uh. the best way to describe it. This is like the Flash movie if it was entertaining. Uh, <laughs> Wait, probably, you're telling yeah. me that fucking baby microwave scene wasn't, like, gold? I mean, I th he would do that. You know what I mean? <laughs> the Flash would Imagine do that. Imagine it's... Yeah, it's Wait, the baby got... microwave scene, but stretched out for two hours. <laughs> I would call this a road trip movie. What about you, JJ? Yeah, yeah, Why would you it feels watch that it way. In the car, it was supposed though. to be. It was supposed, supposed to, to be. Focus a, on driving. Uh, they they, they used did to, drive for a lot to be of those. One. They did. They were sponsored by a car company. What was it? What was the car again, JJ? Do you remember the car? I think Toyota. It was a Toyota, and they featured it heavily, by saying this no, car no, it is was, great. It was. It, it was the Kia. The Kia, Kia that Sorento. They were, they were selling. Yeah, but then the Toyota Odyssey. The Toyota Odyssey they just shit on. Yeah, that was the one. They didn't get paid enough for that one. Anyway, at the very end of the film, uh, Deadpool and Wolverine are holding hands and they're holding a generator and they got some good fan service by ripping off Wolverine's shirt and they had a close-up of his happy trail and Deadpool looks at it. Whoa. And I saw... Yeah, a, I yeah saw, they gave Hugh yeah. Jackman his fake six-pack. And I saw a tweet on <laughs> uh, on Twitter. Maybe I can find it. That was like, you know them balls hairy too, man. And I was like, yeah, that, that's probably where they're flying. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very I gay movie. I only like my man with very hairy balls. No exceptions. Sense. It was very nice that they actually let a character be gay in a Marvel film. It's great. Actually, he's pansexual. Wait, it's Marvel? Yeah, Deadpool's Marvel. Oh. Yeah, they made a lot of references to uh to Marvel films. I, I don't know. I'm not familiar. I only know, like, I, I don't... I, I, I Sometimes I think, like, Marvel and DC characters are in each other's things. So they, I'm just, yeah, they do sometimes. Know. They've had crossovers. No, no, not like a crossover. I mean, like, I, I thought Deadpool is a DC character. I can see that. It was no. made by Rob Liefeld. I no. thought Superman was Marvel for a while. Skipping off that awful thing you just said... Uh, we're what? getting to some news topics. The yeah. Army says that they made an $11 million promotional deal with The Rock, and it didn't lead mm -hmm. to a single recruit, and 38 people... It actually led to people wow. lately, yeah. <laughs> it was a net negative for them. That's insane. Having seen the movie, finally, it's... It, it, there's like, like a it? huge anti... <laughs> huge anti-military message with the villains. I don't know why yeah. that would... Like, I don't know why they thought they would go in their favor. I mean, I kind of liked, though, that it was kind of implied that, hey, this is, a. Uh, this is Black Adam, this is the guy, the child that we showed in the entire movie, but turns out it's his dad who lost his child. What do you think of that twist? It caught me so off guard, I flipping <laughs> did a flip. Do you like the twist, honestly? I didn't did like you? anything of that movie at all. What about the Justice Society? That was it. For five minutes, I enjoyed them, and Dr. Fate throughout the whole thing is pretty cool. Yeah. Otherwise, I did not give a fuck. I can understand that. I mean, I watched- The kid actor was so bad. I watched an IMAX. I really felt all of the uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson hitting people in the head. That was kind of fun. But I feel like the film should have been rated R so we can see some more blood. Totally. But that fucking kid actor, they just hired the first kid that could ride a skateboard decently well. Mm -hmm. And that was their only qualifications. And then they just let him go. Yeah, they killed him. They killed him in the movie. That part was great. When they blow up his brain, it's on the wall <laughs> with a fucking rocket launcher. Black Adam shoots. He, could, he didn't need yep. the rocket launcher. He just wanted the extra damage. It's kind of like the Thanos copter. He doesn't need it, but it it's like kind of fun. Thanos copter. Exactly. Now you can get into the Dr. Disrespect stuff. You can get into that right now. <laughs> so Dr. Disrespect. Finally. So this, this pedophile, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Certified just, lover just boy, certified to throw pedophile. <laughs> yeah, certified guy. Yeah. He, he disappeared after a while because it was exposed that the, his Twitch ban of so many fortnights ago yeah. mm -hmm. was uh, because he messaged a minor. Sexually. Sexually. And like, I love that whole situation because people were defending him saying like oh but it was probably twitch staff it was in it, it was the twitch staff it was it wasn't in a minor it was entrapment how do you get entrapped messaging a minor yeah like <laughs> it was entrapment like bro still messaged 
someone who he thought was a minor there. Yeah, there's no. You, like it's, there's, there's a very easy way of not getting stuck in that situation. It's yeah. just don't do it. And it, it, here's here's mm -hmm. the easy solution. Hey, I'm underage. Bye. Don't talk to them anymore. <laughs> That's it. That, that ends it. It is that simple. Yeah, but he, like, what did he come back after all that? He came back. He just posted recently. Yeah. What? Why? It's a picture of a chessboard with the chess pieces on his side. And the checkers hey. pieces on our side, and it's meant to be like <laughs> we're playing. He's like we're you. He's like we're playing chess. You, you thought we were playing checkers, but I've been playing chess the whole time. Literally the fucking soul flow Antonio bullshit that he said. During that I was holy, thinking like, about H3 that. H3 I was H3 like, drama. I was like, who said that first? Like, <laughs> so it's so cartoonish. It's I did it's like so other responses that were like, you see, the checkers implies he's playing against a child. <laughs> <laughs> there That's was a good. funny. That'd yeah, someone posted like a reverse side of the image, and it's like a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking funny. He looks so he tries he tries to look so menacing in the photo. It's so funny. Oh, this is, is gonna it? Immediately I need fail. to look at this. Is he like yeah. fucking cringe face maxing? He's like in the fucking void. Yeah, Bruh. like someone like actually took a picture of him, and someone commented, <laughs> "I heard you a pedophile can't say that word. I heard you like little boys and girls can't say that word. Can't say that word. You'll you'll see. I'll show it up on screen." And he yeah. responded, and like, "Isn't this Kendrick Lamar lyrics?" <laughs> Kid responding with Dragon Ball Z and Kendrick Lamar lyrics. Wow. All right. And everyone's like, "That's not even. Those aren't. He's calling you a pedophile, dude. Like, there's no. You, he's like, when um, I, excuse me. You're supposed to use the term PDF file. When he sees the N word, he thinks of Kendrick Lamar. What does that say about him? Doctor disrespect. <laughs> and then everyone kept commenting about the age of consent being 18 and everything. Speaking of that. Yeah. Speaking of. Yeah. Speaking of what? Speaking of. Moist Critical. He had a debate with Sneaker what? recently. Uh, they do it against yeah. that. I don't know. They do. yeah, that's, a, that's a very interesting topic. Well, no, uh, we're not getting to most of that shit because I don't want to spend an hour talking here. No, he made a post saying that he's leaving <laughs> the official podcast and everyone's like, he's living there forever. <laughs> we're going, I'm talking yeah, about that, JJ. Yeah, yeah, he's just trying to take some time off the line, which I think is good for him. He's been very kind of ingrained. In well, no, he's not. For every day. He just said he's leaving the podcast. Just the podcast. I know. I know. But even just <laughs> taking a step back from that would be good. Just getting some... Like, he probably can't take it. You know, he probably just isn't able to focus on it. Mm. And if there's a replacement I can recommend, JJ would nah, be a good replacement no, 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 on the no, official no. podcast. He'd be funny. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, this is not my pitch. This is not my pitch. I don't even have my shit together. <laughs> pitch. Yeah, no. I remember when I we were my on office, right? the official podcast, I was like, was everyone there? Even voice critical? And you're like, no. I was like, hmm. Okay, I guess. <laughs> it's like meeting the going to meet the Fantastic Four and like Reed Richards isn't there. It's like okay, it's it's three out of four people. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. Can't complain. <laughs> exactly. Where's the other guy? Uh, speaking of Reed Richards, uh, yeah. Ryan, I heard a rumor that you're like really into bidets or something. Very Whoa. much into bidets, apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Would you like to confirm or deny that rumor? <laughs> I like a clean asshole. It's what I prefer. <laughs> if someone said to me, "Do you like do you like them snaggle?" <laughs> What's the uh, I forgot what the term was. What? I was about to say snaggle. Puss, snaggle puss is not the word. He's not, that is what not the, the word. Fuck are you, what the fuck are you thinking about? What are no, you it's like talking it's, about? Uh, grambleberries. <laughs> it's some it's some weird word for like dangly. Dingleberry. Dingleberries. Yeah, don't you don't want dingleberries. dingleberries. <laughs> you don't want those there. <laughs> And I told JJ about getting one for his new apartment. I was like, you gotta get one of those. Get yeah, berries? that's where I heard the rumor from. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about basic things to improve, like lighting, because usually apartments are dark as shit for no reason. Mm -hmm. And then classic bidet, yeah. 20 bucks. Even though when I was at a uh, Korean market recently, they had like a whole store of just toilet stuff. And I was like, why would I pay $1,000 on this? 1000 Why would I do that? Dev, would you know? Well, uh, no way. Because I'm not spending shit on that. Uh, hey. Oh, hey. I get it. Got him. I get it. But speaking of it. It. the men's triathlon <laughs> swimming competition at the Paris Olympics has been postponed due to pollution in the Seine River. Yeah. Yeah. I heard about that. Uh, this is actually a follow-up story. <laughs> it's like a connected timeline <laughs> of stories. <laughs> follow up to what we've established before about the protest about shitting in the france river y yes and, and how you were gonna go Th i was no <laughs> it's a date idea no that's not true it's Confirmed not a bad death idea it's not like protesting no i did <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, mo moving on. Uh, speaking of the Olympics, uh, look at these cute little mice coming out of the the grain, the, the grate in the floor to watch the Olympics. Uh, so oh oh my goodness! Look yeah. at this dude holding a pistol at the Olympics. Whoa, he's fucking so hardest image I've ever seen. Yeah, that yeah. guy probably hasn't shit in that river. <laughs> 
<laughs> we're not going to confirm or deny, I guess. But does does France have a lot of rats? Is that like a stereotype, or is that a real thing? Um, I ha I personally have not seen a rat, but that's because I, I live in a very good neighborhood and I don't go outside. Is it a good neighborhood if you don't see cute little creatures? I Checkmate. do see cute little creatures. I see like, like deer and boars in the road. Oh, uh, see, go on. Yeah, I see. No, uh, it's one of those things. <laughs> see birds sometimes. I'm gonna tell you this awful Pigeons. thing, JJ can make you very upset. Oh, yeah. God. Boar's head to okay. recall additional 7 million pounds of deli meat after a deadly outbreak. No. Now, this was already before when they, uh, I have this show it on the map no. and everything, but a no. Twitter price I saw what? was like, this is Italian 9-11. <laughs> Fuck. Essentially, billions of dollars worth of deli meats they had to throw out because of like a uh, bacteria strain and it was mainly affecting the area in the upper east of america so like new york new jersey and all those places oh yeah that's not good it's not you know I, I, no do you like boar's not head? i like not dying a bit more <laughs> yeah on the map you see right there it's like concentrated areas mostly new york <laughs> uh it's not it's not good sh shit do you eat lunch meat a lot? Well, uh, not since I've moved out, but, oh. but yeah, I used to. I used to munch and crunch. You like some gabagool? <laughs> On a nice tasty boar. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Going back to the Olympics, uh, they're not doing Mario and Sonic at the Olympics anymore. They're just going to do some yeah. NFTs. It's very funny. Yay. Oh, uh, the newest oh. episode of Futurama is about fucking NFTs. <laughs> Great. A little late on that. <laughs> just on, just in time. Well, you have to remember that these episodes are written like three to four years ago, like I'm like aware. a while ago. Yeah. But I thought it was gonna be more of a thing where it's like people still use NFTs or what whatever, and they kept being like NFTs are very secure, and they didn't make a mm -hmm. single joke about right click saving it, not mm -hmm. even once. And I was like, eh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> they probably we should probably end it. Like how they ended uh, Clone Eye. Yeah. No more seasons. They said, fuck you. Wait another twenty years, maybe. Yep. Back on ice. It's back on ice. Who would have thought? Back on ice. Well, at the very least, for the last time they, they got canceled, they actually had, like, a little cliffhanger. I always don't, so at least it feels better that way, I guess. I guess. No cliffhanger. Uh, I, I tried... I personally, I tried to get into Clone High and I, I just didn't really like it. But mm -hmm. I, one of my favorite pieces of media in the world, it, I actually have two different ones of, like, of Clone High, like fan made little like animations. One of them that I remembered the other day is the, this one, <laughs> Clone High in 20 seconds. It's so mm -hmm. funny. <laughs> Hold on, where's my cock? <laughs> it fucking <laughs> wiggles on the table. And then my other favorite is that one where it's like, how, how are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm doing well because, well, it's my birthday. Ah! Birthday! Happy birthday! And like JFK from Clone High is wearing like the Marilyn Monroe dress. It's so good. It's classic. But you know what we yeah, gotta yeah. talk about now? What? The uh, the questions. Because we asked, what did oh, you think boy. of Deadpool and Wolverine? Oh, shit. We have some fucking. Or we had the brightest. The brightest of bunches. Oh, yeah. Let's see what you got, guys. Mega E Def 8063. Gotta say those two. Very strong fun movie. Strong. The fourth wall breaks didn't really ruin my immersion. Great music choice. Perfect intro. And I really liked how, spoilers, it gave the Fox Marvel characters a send-off before merging with the MCU. Did you watch the credits where they had the nice little song at the end? That was pretty fun. I loved that, and the end credits are also the funniest in the series. Yeah, it was nice to see, like, all this old footage from... Because Deadpool... Not Deadpool. Uh, Hugh Jackman has been playing Wolverine for fucking 24 years. The, the whole longest. thing gave it heart, honestly. It, seeing young Ryan talk about how infused... Uh, he was with the role. It's sweet. Oh yeah, I think Wolverine's coming back in uh, Secret Wars too. Hundred percent. So it's like, oh, he was right. You're gonna be playing this into your ninety. Well, now that they got Disney in the, with the fucking puppet strings, yeah, of course. Oh yeah, they recently hired Robert Downey Jr. as Doctor Doom, which we'll not talk about right now. We're too late for that. And a bunch of people got fired from Disney. Whoops. And it was like, maybe you shouldn't have announced how much you're paying the guy, right now. Probably not. Res Res the uh, MP4 seven seven eight. I had a lot of fun with it. It does have some issues that kind of mess with a lot, but it's really fun, which is more you can say for other recent Marvel projects. Yeah, I had fun with this. It was a sweet movie. CDI 4726. Mm -hmm. Let's just say when Deadpool and Wolverine fought, I got my special sock out. Oh. Hey, excuse me? They're jerking oh. off in the sock. I mean, come on. What do you think they were going to talk? Come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. I, I don't know. I thought I had, I, I had more respect for our viewers. I've always seen that in like, uh comedy movies or something where it's like oh your you have cubby good to suck and it's like why man really do you guys still wear the sock you know wash it <laughs> come on what's the end game here <laughs> the star guy 200 i'm not letting you i'm not letting you speak about that anymore jj no you're not gonna talk about it okay no 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 no, no. The star guy 200 i enjoyed it but the plot was really bad tva is an absolute mess it needs to be abandoned never mentioned again as it constantly complicates any stories it's in 
Deadpool Wolverine, I felt, got very good arcs. They were the standout of the movie. I would hope that the main character is stand out of the movie. Then, of course, some cameos yeah. were fun and gave an ending to characters who didn't really have any closure. Overall, I'd give the movie a 7 out of 10, as I think the action, comedy, and some of the story beats are good enough to make an enjoyable film. Yeah, Just enough for you. The TVA is kind of funny and all the other abandoned stuff that they forgot about, like White Vision. That's what they're going to call the series, JJ. White Vision. So, Dev, there's this robot character that was infused yes. with a stone, and at the end of WandaVision, a TV show that you're supposed to watch because it's integral to the Marvel Universe, uh, the robot turns white, and now they have a TV show called White Vision. <laughs> he turns white and becomes so much smarter and stronger. And everyone loves him more. And he just yeah, kind of fucks weird. off. Yeah. I kind of like that. He has that privilege now. Don't you like that, JJ? When, it, when like, something major happens and then never gets addressed in any other film? <laughs> yes, it's my favorite. Like, the fucking giant fucker what? coming out of the ground in the middle of the ocean. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's how adamantium is going to be into the Marvel Universe, that Celestials are made out of it. That was their plan from the beginning, I'm so sh I'm so fucking sure. Probably, I mean, like, we gotta get this stupid metal in here somehow. Yeah. We're gonna talk about the server now, so you got some people on the server who we also asked the oh question boy. to. Oh boy. Marco Levi oh boy. Levi David. Fun yeah. and solid movie. I'm very glad and surprised, honestly. It was the definitive heart felt sent off to the Fox movies. Instead of an attempt to shoehorn that versions of the characters in the MCU, which is my main concern going on. The Druzer, JJ's best and only friend. I don't know why I said only friend. I should have said, like, best and only friend. <laughs> only friend? Only friend? <laughs> only fans. He's my only good friend, yeah. Yeah, we're, no! all, we're all bad friends. <laughs> Not the JJ only fans, God. Whoa. Deadpool, that's what I, I said when I saw it. That here. More mm -hmm. like dead poop, haha. Huh? Wolverine, more like Wolverine <laughs> scream. Because the movie is so bad, it made me scream and tear all my hair out. Do I have the power to ban this guy from the server? <laughs> yeah. You can, you can ban him. I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Skeletor. It was fine. Probably yeah. the weakest of Deadpools, to be honest, though. Cassandra wasn't the best villain. She didn't really have a connection to Deadpool and Wolverine. I think that's made the first Deadpool so great. Or so good. I don't want to oversell it. He had that connection to the main villain. And Cassandra just kind of, like, wasn't there for a lot of it. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. oh, we gotta go back to her. Yeah. Malibu. I lost interest because Twitter spoiled possibly anything interesting that would have been nice to see in the theaters. I wonder what has ruined people internet etiquette so much that just everyone seemingly becomes brain dead and forgets to put spoiler warnings for a very hype movie that haven't been out for a month yet. Yeah, I feel yeah. like if you don't watch the movie in a month you're f or a week, you're fucked. Pretty much, it's over. Yeah, I mean, if you're watching this right now, there's no way, you, I mean, if you're spoiled, I'm sorry, you, should, you, gotta, you gotta go watch the movie first for watching a reviews. What is your consistency on that, JJ, or Dev? On what exactly? A movie comes out, and you want to avoid spoilers, but it's hard to. Oh, um, well, I don't have that issue because I don't normally, Get excited um, for things? Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I normally don't go to the theaters to go watch movies and stuff, but um, I actually avoid spoilers pretty well because I'm not really on Twitter or um, mm -hmm. TikTok. So my oh. recommendation is just like fucking don't go on Twitter or TikTok and then mute. Like if you're in a Discord server, like just mute the channels that would be talking about like that media. That makes sense. Easy. But you know, we're we're going to mute ourselves because uh, this is episode no! three out of five. Um, <laughs> we're, we're ending the show podcast thing and this is episode three out of five. We're taking some yeah. time to close it down. Yep, mm -hmm. Fun fact though. What? Fun fact though. Next time we record, I will be in California. Wowie zowie. Location yeah, change. Yeah, my flight is next week uh, at the time of recording. I don't like that. Whoa. And by that time next week, the uh, Batman. Isn't the Batman series going to come out by then? Or is it already out? Uh, JJ? Unsure. But I'll make Uncertain. sure that we can watch the uh, rest of the Superman series. Yeah. JJ, you must watch it too. Sounds good to me. So we can talk about it for that week. And maybe the last episode can be can be Batman. Maybe it's a dual, double hitter. Batman. But I think, uh, yeah, we just wanted to give some time to be like, hey, we're closing this down we're gonna go away and then come back and do something else yeah bigger and better than ever bigger and better than ever you have any final thoughts JJ? is that is that it for the episode deadpool balls more like dead poop aha they probably made that joke in the film they probably did <laughs> goodbye everybody goodbye bye, bye, bye. Bye. we're leaving goodbye Hi. goodbye we're no strangers bye. to love what that the movie fuck too. we know the rules oh my god what are you doing, doing so that do what are you? Why? Copyrighted. Stop it. Is what oh, hey. Don't do that. Who, who's asking? What, where did this spurred this from? What are we doing here? <laughs> where is this even coming from? This is obnoxiously evil. It's awful. <laughs> we just lost everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.